Nora. I tried calling you last night. I know. I ignored it. You got every right to be angry. Do I? You think hearing from our son that you slept with Inez gives me the right to be angry? You know, you've got a, got a few more minutes before uh, Nate's arraignment. Come on, Brad. Talk to me. Hey, sleepyhead. Look, I'm sorry that you had to hear about Inez and me from Matthew. I, I was going to tell you in the hospital, and then all of a sudden Clint walked in. You had to go for tests, and uh, I told Clint about it. And he convinced me that I shouldn't tell you because it, it would only hurt you unnecessarily. Okay, so this is Clint's fault that no. you didn't come clean with me? No, that's not what I'm saying. No? Why? I mean, why not? I mean, you're looking for any excuse not to come clean with me. Don't let this destroy us, Red. I'm not giving up on us. And I'm not gonna let you give up on us either. I'm gonna find somehow to get you to, to forgive me. I don't think that's possible well, right then now. We're here, why don't you wanna have some coffee with me then? You know, you don't even have to drink it. You can throw it in my face. You can yell at me, you know? Communication, that's the first step. I love you, I miss you.